Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next method that is nothing but linear discriminant analysis guys. So this is also a dimension re reduction technique which is used okay so LDI is a dimension reduction technique so used as per the processing step by step pattern classification and machine learning application so the only drawback in PLA is that it is not going to consider the values criteria guys like it will not take care about the values and their appearances okay where LDA takes care of everything is similar to PDLA but LDA in addition finds the areas that maximizes the separation between the multiple classes okay so it is going to be an advantage it is going to identify some differences you can say okay so the final goal is to project a future space n dimensional data onto a smaller sub dimension k while maintaining the class information so that is the main goal of this lda also so the final goal of both of them is almost the same guys you can say okay so assume that the given data set we are having two classes c1 and c2 with x1 and x2 values okay guys i also don't have that much clear idea like why we are solving in this way okay so i'll be just going through the method you can just practice it once and you can remember the steps guys because the method is not that much clarity okay is not having that much clarity okay yes so firstly we'll be computing the class scattering matrix guys okay so that is nothing but sw is equals to s1 plus s2 so s1 is nothing but covariance of c1 s2 is nothing but covariance of c2 okay so if you recall we already know the formulas of covariance and all those things right yes so okay so basically you can start working out with those formulas and you can start solving it guys so basically s1 is equals to sigma x minus a new one into x minus a new one whole, whole transpose so basically it is always better to use this formulas guys even you can do with normal covariance formulas also but this is a better approach or easy approach you can say okay so firstly you need to know this new ones right so to know those new ones you we are calculating the averages right so new what is new guys it is nothing but mean right so we calculate the mean for the given data input so we got two two matrix in the matrix format we got x and y similarly you will be calculating for u2 also you got x and y so now you will be calc you will be starting the transpose and you will be multiplying them so s1 is equals to sigma x minus a new one into x minus new one whole transpose right yes so here we wrote a new one's value okay and you wrote x minus a new one so we wrote the values in this way so basically your question will be so what did i do here right so you might have that question right so now check the data set guys it is a 4 1 okay so 4 2 2 3 4 right 4 2 2 3 4 okay, let me remember it 4 2 2 3 4 okay yes so now subtract this with this guys so 4 minus 3 is a 1 2 minus 3 sorry 2 minus 3 is a minus 1 2 minus 3 is minus 1 3 minus 3 is 0 4 minus 3 is 0 i just calculated this value guys okay similarly you do for other also so the second row with 3.6 so you'll be getting these as the result okay so if you observe the formula it is multiplying itself right yes so that is the reason why do step by step multiplication so 1 1 and minus 2.6 into 1 minus 2.6 so you will be doing cross multiplication you will be getting 2 by 2 matrix so you will be doing the same process again and again guys so for all the five values you will be doing the same thing okay so once it is done you will add all of them so you'll be getting this result so similarly you will be doing for s2 also so you'll be getting this as the final result okay yes so once you got these two as the results okay so you'll add them so you got this as the final result okay okay so now you will be start comparing with the class of a scattering matrix that is sb guys okay so sb will look in this way that is nothing but sb is equals to new one minus new two into new one minus new two whole transpose so once you write them in this way once you cross multiply you will get this matrix okay so once you got this matrix we are having a formula of a lda production projection the formula will look in this way so basically this is all formula based guys this method so that is the reason why even i did not find anything interesting in this topic in this problem so that is the reason why even i am not interested in explaining okay okay so you will be taking this formula you will be substituting this sw inverse sb and lambda and one i that is nothing but your identity matrix okay yes so and you will be you will be finding the eigenvalue that is nothing but lambda value okay yes okay so among the both lambda values you will be selecting the maximum one guys so this is the maximum one which you got okay so with this maximum value you will be using it somewhere okay yes so you will be writing the formula again so basically this matrix the original matrix we are having right so you will be writing that matrix into v1 okay so on the other side you will be you will be writing this and you will be multiplying with v1 into v2 so you will be solving this value so you will be ending up with this value guys 
okay so if you do matrix multiplication and if you find v1 and v2 values v1 value is 0.91 v2 value is 0.39 okay so once you got this you will be doing some dimension transpose so from here i did not got any idea guys and this is the last step of this method okay so once you apply this formula and you do projection you will end up with a graph like this i don't know exactly like how did this happen I'm really sorry for that guys okay yes so I just gave you an overview about the method right so basically you understood some steps right you just remember the steps and formulas guys better I think mostly we will not get a problem from this method okay so even though you just check the method once okay yes so I'm sorry for not explaining the problem in detailed guys okay yes so I hope everyone got some basic idea so in the next lecture we'll be start we'll be going through the important topics and after that we'll be starting the fifth unit of machine learning guys okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching